Hi guys, uh, this is David uh, who is recording this video. Today we are going to just learn how to set up the LaTeX environment. Uh, there are a couple of things to know about it. The first thing is the compiler which is required to load the documents. Uh, which has to be downloaded from the website called uh, uh, mytech.org. Uh, by the way, I am talking about the system uh, windows and uh, with uh, whatever uh, bit, either it's 32 bit or 64 bit, it just uh, depends on what version you are using it. And download the front end editor from Tech Studio. Uh, the, uh, why I am su suggesting the Tech Studio, you will come later. Come, let's go to the website and uh, download these two. Yes, uh, there is. It's called mytech.org and you can see that installed Windows 7, 8 and 10 there is a button called download. Just click on download. You will get a mess box called basic mytech 2.9.6643x64.exe that's the latest version by the time I'm recording this video. And after the download just getting downloaded. After the download you just install that mytech.org. Then later you are supposed to install the front end editor called Tech Studio, which is again getting loaded and the website is called text.org and the immediate page pops up download now option and click on that also and again it's giving you an option save this file and now currently that both the files are getting downloaded I have already downloaded and installed this uh, mic tech followed by tech studio and so closing this window and some tabs I'm going back to opening the tech studio tech studio and open the tech studio for you so this is the front end which you are going to work on. The mic tech is a compiler which just runs behind the scene which you don't have anything to do unless uh, you require to install some packages. Let's look into this. Uh, let's open a new document. Control N. There are a few things to know about it. Is the first thing which you are supposed to know about is the document class which is a part of the preamp. So the next one is begin document and end document. Whatever you are typing in between this begin document and end document will come in the output and whatever you are typing in fact except begin document and end document environment will serve as uh, styling the document. That's what it exactly means. There are two buttons called compile and uh, build and view which compiles the document and uh, tells the LaTeX to uh, build it and this build and view will produce a window here and which will give you the output. Before doing these things let's save the document. Save this. I always prefer to save it in the single folder for single document. So let's create a folder here and I'm creating a setup and inside this is my first document. First document. Save this file. Let's compile this. Let's go and look into what's happening in the folder. Let's open the folder, desktop, and this is the folder which we have created, setup, and in this, we have created only this file, but after compiling, there are four more files are generated, which is called an axe file, and log file, and PDF file, and .gz file. With this file is really helpful when you suppose lost the document, you can always retrieve the document. Okay, let's go back to Tech Studio and 
built in so this created a window which gives the output of whatever we have typed in between the begin document and end document let's do something maybe in preamble i can have one option called title this is my first latex document and in the document i am writing a command called make title and compile this gives me a nice output which takes the argument of title and prints it over here with the date so if you don't want the date just type date and to empty brace empty braces and compile again make sure that whenever you do any corrections over here or here you should always compile the the document to the document to get updated so this gives only the title there is a nice argument called as author uh, my name that's david raj michael again compile so this gives the author of the document so that's it this is the setup and uh, whenever you go for a report you also called as a, an environment called begin abstract and end abstract so in this uh, tutorial we will learn how to set up the latex environment for math users Suppose for other uses, let's compile it. So this created a new page which is called as abstract. So that's awesome, right? After the abstract, if you want to type something, you can always type something like that. It will also give this. The wonderful thing which you are supposed to know is every document should be separated by the chapters and sections. Let's go to that. since it's a report i can directly start with chapter so the command to create a chapter is slash chapter and within the bracket you can always type the chapter title so this is my first chapter to see the effect you can always compile and this creates a chapter which is nicely formatted you can see that and there are many things you can do is this is my second chapter so this creates in the other page chapter 2 so chapter 1 and chapter 2 has created you can now create sections under the chapter so this is the first section compile so you can see a section has been created under the chapter 1 so this chapter will tell you something this section also will give you some in compile the document this is not the one pretty output which you were supposed to expecting is look at that it automatically names the chapter as chapter 1 and under the chapter the section has been numbered as 1.1 suppose if i want a subsection of a section it's very pretty easy to do it as as you guessed it is exactly slash subsection and within bracket you can write this is a subsection this is one title which you want to give so compile and 
the numbering is as you again guessed it it is 1.1.1 which is which is referring as chapter 1 section 1 and subsection so as you guessed if i give one more subsection in this place this is another subsection should be named as 1.1.2 isn't it that's how it is yes the wonderful thing which they attack this is how to create the table of table of contents so i wanted to create the table of contents here just write a single comment called slash table of contents and compile always make sure that to update in uh, anything in the table of contents we have to compile twice since it's the first time it gave the output so the contents also has been created as a chapter and it has nicely gave you that the first chapter under that section under that subsection and this is the second chapter okay. so you guys play around with this let's see in the next video how to style this stuff